Hello everybody, I'm Jackie K. Cooper and my entertainment rundown for today is a review of the film Candyman. Now, I remember the original Candyman from several years ago. Uh, I remember that the whole premise was if you stood in front of a mirror and said Candyman five times, then he would come and kill you. Now, from, from what I've talked to Amber, my cohort here, on these reviews, she didn't remember Candyman. She remembered something called Bloody Mary. Was that it? That's it. Bloody Mary. Never heard of that one. But then I looked up and they said this was like the fourth Candyman movie. I don't remember those intervening two. But in this one, it's the same thing. Uh, you know, somebody hears the legend and they start going in front of the mirror and making the, you know, saying his name five times. I would never have done that. I wouldn't do that now just because that's just stupid. Why would you ever do something that you think somebody's going to come out with a hook for a hand and the throat, whatever. But the acting in this movie is really good. The main lead is played by Yaya Abdul-Mateen II, and then the leading actress in it is Tiana Paris. I'd never heard of these two people before. I think I think Yahya Abdul Mateen the second was in the trial of the Chicago Seven. I do think that. But uh, also Tony Todd appears and he was in the original Candyman. But Jordan Peele co wrote, co produced, and he was the one who did Get Out and Nia DaCosta is the director, she also co-wrote, and I think she also produced. But there is a sleek look to this film. It's a horror movie, I mean, it was had its chills and thrills. But it's just well done. The acting's good, the scenery's good, the horror scenes are good. You know, it's, it's just got the right touch to it in a lot of ways. It's rated R because there is a lot of profanity and there is a lot of violence, you know. I was watching it through my fingers, even if I was watching it on my computer, it was like, oh my gosh, what's gonna happen next? Fingers in the ears, you know, didn't wanna hear it, that type of thing. But still, I was fascinated by it. I have this love-hate relationship with horror movies. I'm, I always tell people I don't like horror movies, and then I sit there and I'm really fascinated by them. I scored it 7 out of 10. I thought it was well above average. I think that has a lot to do with Jordan Peele being associated with it. So, 7 out of 10 for today's Entertainment Rundown. I'm Jackie K. Cooper. The movie is Candyman.